you're if you feel thudding in your transmission, maybe because your transmission mount is worn out. Thirty dollar part will solve a lot of problems on your truck. Okay. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. I hope you're doing well today. You know, this week I was trying to figure out what kind of video that I'm going to offer to you. I wasn't able to go on a ride. Well, I did a short ride, so I wasn't able to film. But um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison for those of you that are interested in getting into salvage denim world. The difference between a, I don't know, sub-100 salvage category and those that are 300 and over. Uh, I'm just going to compare two of my um, favorite salvage one cheap one and one a little bit more expensive if owned for a little while compare what they're made of and what makes the uh, more expensive salvage expensive and what makes the cheap salvage cheap and what makes both of it something that you want another beautiful day in hawaii hey look whenever i talk about hawaii i'm not trying to brag about my life i'm really bragging about how beautiful hawaii is and again, if you get a chance to come and visit, please come and visit Hawaii. Any of the islands will be good. Honolulu, obviously, is the busiest of all of them. It's like the business hub. So, please come. All right, so you all know already that I do use my salvage in working in my yard, working on my motorcycles, riding my, in my motorcycles, going out and do things like that. All throughout the years, I've got to figure out what kind of style that I'm going to get into. And I love the heritage style because one, I think it's not wasteful, right? There are a lot of people that buy, you know, hundreds and hundreds of clothing pieces all throughout the year, spend a lot of money on it, but then they end up buying hundreds of pieces again the next year because those pieces are out of style. With heritage clothing, I'm talking about like salvage. I know they're expensive. Initial investment is expensive when it comes to these pieces of clothing, but you can guarantee that heritage style is going to last a long time, especially for those that are 40 and over. I think it's something you can get into. You don't have to own a motorcycle, guys. You don't have to go four wheeling. You don't have to be working in your yard, but it's a good style to have. It's a consistent style to have. It's a classic style to have that will be a classic for a longer time, long time to go and then eventually you get your money back, I think, and you only need certain pieces really to pull it off. But that's not what the video is about again. See, I go in tangent with these things, right? A comparison between expensive and cheap, expensive and cheap salvage. So on the cheap side, I'm not saying cheap, but I'm just saying is that uh, it is about the sub $100 category. I purchased this one for about $56. It was on sale in Uniqlo when I was in, uh, in Japan. This is the Uniqlo Slim Straight Kaihara Salvage. Cheap, but salvage nonetheless. And I'll tell you the difference between this and this one right here. I've already made a video of. It's called the Self Edge, the Flathead. Salvage Jeans SE05 BSP. This is a 14.5 salvage, and like any other salvage that I own from the flathead, iron head, and a few other things, this is around the 300 plus dollar category. So what are the differences and what are the similarities between the, the two? These are the things to consider if you want to look into buying the Kaihara jeans or salvage that Uniqlo sells. One is that it costs $49.99. Uh, plus shipping maybe for some of you uh, but that's really cheap right for an introductory salvage denim that's very cheap I'm gonna go over some of the things that I think makes it a good buy when it comes to salvage and I'm gonna go over some of the things that I would think uh, that why I don't like buying that anymore or why I shy away from it and I think that you should save your money and buy the other uh, side of the salvage scene Hey, look guys, real quick. I am not trying to convince you to get into expensive jeans. There is nothing wrong with introductory salvage denim such as the Kahara jeans from uh, Uniqlo. You can buy a lot of jeans that are sub 100 and they will last you a long time. 
they are true salvage, they are true to their style and, uh, and name, uh, s such as the unbranded is a good example of that, right? Uh, naked and famous and all of these other things. The iron heart, the flat head, sugar cane, these are up there in category because of some of the uniqueness of the way they make them. Uh, and one of the differences is that jeans from Uniqlo are made in bulk. The salvage jeans are made in bulk and then jeans from the flathead uh, are made in limited numbers. You know what I mean? Kaihara products, Kaihara salvage is woven in factory in Fukuyama, which is in Hiroshima prefecture. I happened to live about four or five hours away from there when I was in Japan touchy, 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 and I used to go touchy. visit the sites over in Hiroshima. Really nice town beautiful picturesque mountains and they have everything they need to produce products for Kahara. In fact, if you look at today, uh, they say that one in every pair of denim is made by Kahara. So that's how popular they are, how famous they are. The make of the Uniqlo jeans is 98% cotton and 2% elastane because it has a little bit of a give, a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, and then of course the flat head is 100% Japanese salvage cotton. It's also rope dyed indigo and 12 ounces so pretty good right? The same characteristics of ex more expensive jeans like the flathead. It is also slim tapered. Some of the things that I don't like about it is that it did not come with button flies. I don't know if they make a unique low salvage denim with button flies but you can tell that some of the more expensive jeans, the button flies, have designs. They pay close attention into putting those things together. Uh, the holes for the button flies are really stitched well. Also, another thing I, I noticed about this pair of Uniqlo jeans is that it is only um, you know, chain stitched in a few areas and not the most uh, common areas that some of the more expensive salvage denim are. Uh, chain stitch for reliability strength and things like that right and besides if it's double stitch in some of the areas uh, that adds on to the ability of it to fade uh, in a unique way in some of the areas in which it's double stitched speaking of fading i have not seen uniqlo jeans fade as good as like the flathead for example right the flathead that i have uh, it slowly is fading but it can be faster by soaking uh, washing more often, using it more often, and it really kind of takes shape into the life that you uh, trying to build with it, right? I've owned this Uniqlo jeans for a little while. I don't wear it a lot, but when I do, I try to see if it will start to fade, right? It's not fading for some reason. It is really nice and tight. So if you're into that, you know, really clean look, uh, and you're into slim, slim denim that have a little bit of a give, so you can wear it tight and wear it, you know, comfortably, then maybe it is the Uniqlo type of denim jeans or selvage that you would like to purchase and wear. Uh, I'm more into the history of it, right? Uh, history like who made it? For example, the flathead jeans originated in Nagano, Japan, and they're still made there. And it was started by Masayoshi Kobayashi. And his motto for making jeans is this the line between creating genes and art is a blurry one that is i think for me is just some amazing thing right and that's why the more expensive ones the flathead again iron head all of those genes have a lot of history backing it with vice uh, the newer genes like the uniqlo's that are made by uniqlo it's cheaper it's made in bulk it's made by uh, it's still made in-house in loom factories and rope dyed in-house by Uniqlo or by Kaihara. But the problem is that because they make so many of them that I think there's just not a lot of story behind it. You know, there's just not a lot of appeal for me. Uh, heritage, right, is a big thing for me. Every time I buy, a, 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 every time I purchase a pair of salvage jeans, jacket, a pair of t-shirt, you know, whatever, shoes, I, I tie into its heritage. Um, how deep is the heritage of the product that I'm buying? And that's why I'm willing to pay more, a whole lot more, for something that has a lot more heritage and not everybody is wearing. You know what I mean? It's unique to me. 
is unique to very few people because it's very expensive uh, and that uh, it's not ever you can't just go down to the corner street and buy it right uh, again maybe a bad a bad example that I'm making here also a bad example to compare Uniqlo to something like the flathead um, but I can name very many of them and the term fast fashion uh, that is the term that I use for some place like Uniqlo, H&M, Zara, all of these places. They're called fast fashion. They, they come up with new things all the time in bulk so that people can go by and make money. Then they make money off of it instead of making very few, pay a close attention to the detail, tie it into the heritage and the story of the genes, the story of the company, the story of the individual that started the company. All of those things mean more, much more to me, and that's why I, I do that, right? Now, when it comes to heritage clothing, it, it, I mean, for me, I will always choose the other side of this, uh, not because it's expensive or it's cheap. There are, again, cheaper versions of Japanese salvage that has a store behind it as being sold, but not being sold in bulk, like Uniqlo, uh, that I, I also have. Um, but... I offer the information to you so you can make a decision on whether for if you're new to the salvage scene if you're new to, to the denim head scene that you should consider I think uh, going into cheaper alternatives like the Uniqlo first before you go and uh, buying the more expensive side of the house I probably missed a whole lot of comparison a whole lot of the uniqueness of uh, heritage clothing including Uniqlo so if I have, and if you want to add on more to that, please don't forget to comment down below and let us know what you think about this video comparing something that's a little bit on the 100 sub category b below or something that's above uh, like the flathead in the 300 plus or 500 plus category. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, most of my videos, I will infuse my personal life in it because that's how I wear my things, just close to the heritage piece. Uh, I am also here to provide information to increase your confidence, our confidence as you know, 40 plus year old and really kind of hone into our style and be confident on wearing it and showing it to people and talking to people, right? That is all about us. That's all I have. Till next time, aloha. So I consider the Uniqlo Kaihara salvage as the little engine that could um, what I mean by that is you know for the price of 50 bucks like right now it's 49.99 slim tapered Kahara denim in the Uniqlo website um, it is punching much higher than the level that the cost right 